How's it going, PJ? It's good. We, we're good. We're good? We're good. I mean, okay. Is, is he going to have to hold that up the whole time? Well, I just want to be sure. But he doesn't look, his face doesn't have, none of those colors are on his face. I think this works. Let's go with it. What is this for again? We're going to digitally put someone else's face there. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Retro Replay, Nolan North here, back in the basement, uh, alongside Drew Safine, Jay Drusif. Drew, say hi to the nice people. Hi to the nice people. We still don't have, give him a camera. Yeah. You don't want to see what I'm looking at. No, <laughs> it's not pretty. It's still swollen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's get to our topics and tangents of the week, because I love this story. <laughs> cocaine, just, I love the title, cocaine-coated cornflakes. Uh, that's alliteration. Say that three times fast. Uh, no. Customs officials in Ohio say they intercepted a shipment of cereal earlier this month with special edition cocaine. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office in Cincinnati, Ohio, reported 44 pounds of cocaine-coated cornflakes had been shipped from South America to a, uh, uh, to a home. Um, the discovery was made when a narcotics alert dog named Bico. It doesn't matter. Who cares what the dog's name is? Anyway... <laughs> Then now they're sneaking in the co cocaine on the cornflakes. It's genius. genius. I was under the impression that they were always coated in cocaine because I would eat cornflakes and, you know, lose my shit. And everyone's like, <laughs> what's the sugar? And it's like, no. no. It's cocaine. I'd be running around going, they're great. And it's like, I'm a tiger. <laughs> Just like people are like, what's going on? Nose is bleeding. <laughs> Just freaking out. My grandmother's running around going, what are you doing? I'm yeah. like, I'm going to, I need more cornflakes. Pimp my grandmother out. Rehab was tough. Yeah. $20. You want to sleep with my grandma? $20. $20. <laughs> Give me five. They came in the little boxes. That's like the sampler side. The little boxes. The first one's free. Don't worry about it. You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine coated cornflakes. I mean, I, as if snorting it would, is too difficult. Well, you you, what you do is is you you eat them, yeah. and then when you get to the end, that bag, that's the dust. That's well, you know, and little kids walking into school going, "Hey, how you doing? Did you get your homework done?" A like, little bump, you know what I mean? A little bump before uh, you know uh, a library cor cornflake bump. A little cornflake. But like any cereal, the milk is the best part. So I wonder if like you know, like after right. you have and you drink the milk, that's where like it's concentrated that's concentrated that's like you yeah. know drinking like peyote in the desert <laughs> you drink the cornflakes milk on this cornflakes and next thing you know you're seeing dead relatives and it, i can taste color it's like this is great yeah <laughs> i love that i love that you it's don't like sitting there don't drink you, the milk you got like a fucking shaman in the corner going drink the milk <laughs> we're lost right now but i'll find us the way Okay. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful story. I just love it. Um, it, it. Funny thing is, the story never told anybody what they did. Yeah. With uh, those cornflakes, uh, but I, I, I mean, I bet, I'm, there's, I'm I bet there's some there's some kids the in Ohio that are just like, I'm gonna be in the Olympics. Uh, or, or the border patrol took it all home. Like, <laughs> exactly. We're gonna have some fun tonight, kids. Woo! Mars rover, a giant parachute contained a secret message. Don't know why. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> systems engineer Ian Clark, uh, who is a puzzles and crossword enthusiast, uh, enthusiast, enthusiast. He's an enthusiast. <laughs> uh, used a binary code to spell out "dare mighty things" in the orange and white strips of the 70-foot parachute, 21 meters for you Europeans. He also included the GPS coordinates for a mission's headquarters at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. I don't know why. Because that's basically putting the target for the aliens. They're like, here's the coordinates. Uh, let's launch the laser there. And uh, that's why I'm going to move. Because Pasadena is pretty close. Yeah. And I figure that Pasadena is just uh, crossword. And he's a crossword hobbyist. They're like, hey, uh, Dr. Clark, we talked to you for a second. Uh, National Security Advisor. Um, you're going to have to come with us. Because you've alerted the aliens. <laughs> and the damn Ruskies. I don't know. They're not. They're, I think, they're allies. I think you can Google it. So... Uh, Came up with the idea two years ago. Uh, wanted an unusual pattern in the nylon fabric. Oh, that's interesting. No, this is actually interesting. They wanted they they wanted some type of an interesting pattern. So he was he was kind of assigned yeah. with this task. Yeah. So they could 
watch the descent and be able to kind of track it. And his idea was, he was like, you know, he, he had to get a little creative with it. Yeah. Um, no, this is this is like the this is a space nerd, super space nerd awesomeness. Like, I, I mean, it's it's just one of those things. It's like it the it didn't have a purpose. This, this other, I mean, the parachute obviously had a purpose. Yeah, the yeah. The ro- slow the rover's descent before the jets uh, slow its descent even further, and it lowers the crane. But uh, because now, bef- prior to to prior uh, launches, they didn't quite have like the high def cameras that were able to like take the photos. Of, right. Right. And now we could see the the parachute in like some really crystal clear manner, and it's really cool. And then like somebody, some people were watching it and noticed that that's an irregular pattern to have on a parachute that normally parachutes don't have that kind of right. uh, pattern. And they realized it was ones and zeros. So the way the pattern would work out, it would be ones and zeros, and that ended up uh, spelling out dare mighty things. Uh, I think that's interesting. Though. It's super cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, dare mighty things. Good tattoo. Be good that too. Yeah. You know Is that saying? like a lower back tech too? Where do you think that goes? The tramp stamp? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why that was called a tramp stamp. It was like, <laughs> it just gives you something to read. You know? <laughs> for, 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 for a little bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, does that say hi? That might be my face. I don't know. I've never filmed it. Uh, but I'll get back to you. Dare Mighty Things. What a uh, fantastic. Um, yeah. And an incredible Fantastic achieve. message. Yeah. That's it. That's it for Topics and Tangents. Uh, let's play a game. What, what are we playing today? But today, today we're going to do something uh, interesting. We have a very special guest, as everybody knows. Uh, John DiMaggio, my good buddy, is going to be joining us today. So I wanted to play a game called The Shadow of Mordor, where I played the Black Hand of Sauron. It's very cool. Uh, uh, Troy Baker is Italian. Um... John DiMaggio played some guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> J.B. Blanc played another guy. Yep. And, and what I remember most about it is there's this one particular scene we're going to show you today, um, a cut scene, uh, that, well, there's a little story behind it. Um, you don't want to miss that. But before, how about that? It's a good teaser, right? Yeah, I like that. That's, a te- that's, called, that's called a teaser. Uh, and the only teaser better than that is... Uh, is a girl named Deborah I met in college. She was a better teaser. God rest her soul. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her, but um, she made the she made the list. That's all I'm saying. Um, I mean, you know, you take you take a young lady out to the Red Lobster when you're 20 years old and broke. You expect something more than a kiss. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> That's tar- Those cheddar rolls are really good, though. <laughs> she got the damn broccoli soup, and I think she got had gas. <laughs> we got back to we got back to her apartment. We're just doing a little smooching there, and all of a sudden, I just like, ooh, smell. She's like, I'm sorry. She go, that's my dog. And she like, ah, you know, Billy, Billy, get out from under the couch. <laughs> and we make out a little bit more, and another little. Oh, and I'm like, oh, uh, she, she oh, that the dog. Billy, get out from the other couch. And a little more kissing and hugging. And I'm just trying to, I'm like, oh, she's like, Billy, get out. I said, Billy, get out from under there before she shits on you. <laughs> you, got, you got Paul going. See, that's a, I know I got, I like Paul. <laughs> See, that's called repurposing a joke to make it sound like it actually happened to you. That's one to grow on. We'll see you next week. Uh, John DiMaggio is coming up. Uh, a, 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 one of my favorite stories uh, from my career uh, with John on Shadow of Mordor is coming up. But first, I'm going to attempt to uh, play some of this. And uh, maybe I'll even do some of the dark speech for you. Had to learn that for the role. We'll talk more. Let's do it. All right, Drew, Shadow of Mordor. Let's just jump into some gameplay. Yeah, yeah. so this is oh, teaching you a little bit of uh, one of that. the most important things you, you'll need in the game, which is this counter. Oh, shit, this counter is counter mechanic. Hard enough. There you go. Oh, okay, so I just, it's that timing thing. Oh, this is like that. Yeah, so when you see it appear above, tap it, and it'll block. And then now you can hit square to attack. And then he kills his son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll have your guts. Yeah. Orcs were big and fierce, but yeah. they really took a sword. R two, 
and, and tap square for ground execution here. Hold X to sprint. Remember your training. R1. There you go. Yeah. And now you can, if you're on the ground, you can execute them. So, there you go. Oh, so this is this. So I, it's R2 square. I see. Now I'm trying to remember all the, all the stuff and. Yeah, you're right. Nice. The mechanics. You got to know well, the mechanics. Yeah. Once you learn yeah. them, it's it's super satisfying. But it takes a, it takes a hot minute. We should have left when we had the chance. So this is a little bit of a stealth path. tutorial. So now, stealth is my only advantage. Nice. Uh, sneak up behind him. Feasting. We must return to battle. I think he just killed me. We must return to battle. Where is he? He's over there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's it. That's through his head. Yeah. Put the sword down, Ranger. That's J.B. Blanc. He's so good. That, oh, uh, yeah, that's John DeMondo. I love the look with the hammer. Of the, um... Power in the hand. They're, they're distinct enough. You know, you can tell them apart. It's a real smart decision. Okay, this now the black hand. The black hand wants him alive. And so I had to learn actual black spe dark speech. Yeah, I was wondering. And you have to get it right because. It's that you're in. You have to get it right because fans are watching and paying very close attention. So I cut his throat. Do you hear it though? Mm -hmm. We'll be together, my love. Soon. Did you have someone to kind of teach you how to the language, like how to how to say it? Well, it was just slow and deliberate. Yeah. He's done. So he's doing. It's like a big sacrifice. Yeah, he's putting. He's, he's a. It's like a spell. Come back to me, Elf Lord. Yeah, it was a sacrifice to, to you know. To bring the Elf Lord out. <clears throat> yeah. And That's... It was go, cool, but doing that scene, but that come back to me, Elf Lord. What is this place? <laughs> we'll go we'll come back to that scene. Yeah, See for yourself. Mm -hmm. Was it tough learning the language? Did you have someone like coaching you to, on that, or? Uh, yeah, they had somebody there. You know, they gave it to me, and then they gave it phonetically. But you know, when you're doing this, you know, when you're doing this live, you want to get it right. Yeah. And got it fairly right, and and I we may have tweaked it in ADR after, but on the day, just knocking it out, it was. I was I worked really hard on that because I wanted to. And because a part of it also is like it's kind of fun, right? You know, you're, you're, you're you take pride in what you do, mm -hmm. and it was really cool to kind of just say, "We find Like, and it was just slow and deliberate. Uh, so you can just kind of jump off this tower, a la Assassin's Creed style. When they say L, is that like That's the L three, basically the is that the, the stick on the on the left? Yep, you got it. You're learning. Hero stance. She's gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it. So again, hit L1, kind of get a sense of who's around you. L1? Yep. L1. There you go. Anybody close by? Okay. You can smell it in the air. So there's someone somewhat close. Oh, you see that uh, R3? Someone saw you. He's gonna come in. Uh, Oh, so he's a, he's a, 
He's coming for you. He's a uh, nemesis orc. You can definitely see the, like, um, Aragorn and Boromir um, notes, like, that Talion has. Like, he's definitely, like, he, he's got the Gondor look, the dual swords. I like that he's got the shorter sword, and that short is, that shorter sword is, uh, actually, I think his son's, his son's broken sword. Let's see who's around here. So again, you can sneak up on them and kill them if they're close by. Oof. Now hit triangle. Oh, keep it in that circle, triangle. So that's a, that's like a save move. So when the when the orc does like a killing blow or knocks you down, you have this moment to uh, kind of save yourself. Time you piece of shrunk, you won't be so oh, wow. lucky. Nice job, dude. He's retreating. So let me go in here. We're, just, we're gonna hide. Oh, good, good look. Nice, buddy. That was awesome. I feel like I'm just gonna run into some shit. You're almost there. Nice. Wait. Yep. There you go. Right. Go to 65 feet. You're just run into that and then hit. Uh... That's it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need a little break for uh, before we take on Uruk, Slaver. <clears throat> Why don't we talk to John? Yeah. And then we'll we'll I'll go back and we'll we'll see if we can take him out. And then, uh, then the show will be over. <laughs> Come on, let's uh, let's talk to John DiMaggio. Let's do it. Hey, everybody! It's John DiMaggio here in the flesh, sort of zoom mic. Hey, look at him there. Oh, I like that hat. Look at that. Hey, thanks so much. I hey, how much it. for a ride to the airport? Uh, you know, fifty-five dollars. Uh, All right. <laughs> I'll wear a mask. That's about it. That's it. We're going to have to stop for gas. I'll wear a mask and the hat and nothing else. That's And nothing else. No, nah, nothing. nothing. Nah, just a G-string. Backwards, and we're in. How are you, man? How you doing? We haven't uh, talked in a I'm while. Good. The pandemic, man, yeah, uh, uh, you okay? But I'm good, uh, you know, considering the fact that, you know, we're living through this weird time. But um, I'm good, man. I, you know, tr trudging along and, and, and working. Uh, I lucky know. to be working, you know what I mean? So it's it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I yeah. uh, <clears throat> am figuring out how to see. You, I was saying before how I have my. Ooh, look at that! See, I got a lot of sw I got my swag out, yo. Look at the bender in the back. <laughs> that's right. how I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, it's but I got like you know. Ooh, look at that! That's some that's some adventure that, time stuff. That's but, some adventure no, like, time art. I just been yeah. Oh, that's adventure time. <laughs> It's adventure wow. time. But it but it's been fun like just I working from home actually. I thought it was going to be worse and yeah, I know. it turns out that like I'm actually uh, I'm actually proficient enough to get things done here. So it's uh pretty cool. We are playing Shadow of Mordor. Oh. And yeah. the opening of Shadow of Mordor is uh it's very cinematic. It's a beautiful uh, where uh, our hero, Talion, and his family yeah. are murdered by mm -hmm. uh, what, what are, what are the, the captains of Sauron. Uh, the Tower of Sauron, played by J.B. Blanc. The Hammer of Sauron, which is our uh, you, John DiMaggio. And, of course, me, the Black Hand of Sauron, who's kind of like the... Has to come in and do the incantation in dark speech, in the black speech, and slices the throats of his son and his wife, and then ultimately Talion, our hero, and then just stands and looks to the heavens with his arms wide. He's laughing for a reason. This whole scene was mo -capped. It was uh, brilliantly choreographed and done, and I am trying to do this dark speech that we talked about before, about how I had to learn to actually say that because the fans will lose their shit if you say one syllable wrong. Well, during this mocap uh, scene, um, and, and we'll go back and we'll show this, 
uh, Stephanie, you can uh, our editor will show you. Just as at the right at the end of the scene when I I've killed them all and I spread my hands, dark elf come back to me. Come back to me, elf lord. John, the hammer of Sauron, ran across the stage, like jumped two, three feet, and with the back of his three fingers, smacked me right in the dick. Now, if he had, now listen, I, I need to be, now you have to understand, the, the mocap suits are, are in such a way, kids, that um, you can tell what religion a man is. Yeah, um, they're tight. So they're tight. Those, those outfits. And um, um, uh, my little German soldier uh, was just, he didn't hit my balls. If he hit my testicles, I would be on the ground and he and I would, would not be talking right now because that's, you don't do that to a dude. But he, <laughs> he deftly, deftly, he just rang the bell. He rang the tip. He, and he smacked it and it was like, and I remember just stopping it and the pee, everybody else, nobody laughed. But he started doing that laughing. And I looked at him, it was, and there literally was this, there was an instant of shock. And I look, everybody's going, oh my God, John just did that. And I went, and I lost my shit laughing. I mean, the head of my, my pecker is throbbing like a cartoon. I'm holding it. And he, this infectious laugh that he has, I start oh laughing. God. And now everybody on set is looking at these oh. two maniacs oh. laughing after hurting each other. <laughs> and, and the only thing it confirmed to me is nobody else on the entire stage grew up in the East Coast. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, you, listen. We, if you don't shit on a guy, if you don't smack him, if you don't, you know, I mean, put Ben Gay in his jock strap, you don't like him. You 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 made this motion. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> you, you 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 spread your arms, and you and your your legs were slightly ooh, ajar, slightly apart. <laughs> and you were just you were just, and it was and you said your line, and it was just like four, three, two, bang, <laughs> and it was like it. I couldn't. I, I don't know what I would have got I, if it happened today. I would have got fired for sexual <laughs> fucking harassment. Not by or some me. Shit. <laughs> but again, oh my god, I would have got fired. HR would have been called. H, no, but it was it, it was one of the most shocking things that ever happened to me that I had no problem with. Like I was just like, <laughs> and it was, and I and I remember sitting there myself going, should I, I really can't? I'm, why am I not mad at all? Because it was the one of the because it was one of the funniest things I've ever done. And I'm just thinking, you know, all day. I mean, you literally are wearing these things, and and it's like everybody's shit is just everybody's junk is right there, and it's like it's kind of hard to ignore, you know. And you're just kind of like, it's like, oh wow, good for him. And then ah, oh, that guy, poor dude, you know. It's like, and it's just. I guess it's part oh. of me is just proud that it was it was big enough to see that well because <laughs> you're goddamn that and I it, mean and it just and it really boom, was and he looked at me he went ah he started laughing and I started laughing and everybody the director was horrified <laughs> he, and he was guy. very serious he and he pulled me aside later he said um are are you okay I mean th uh, this is this because uh, because this was very uncalled for I'm like no 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 don't no it's, it, he's my buddy we've known each other forever it was. And I think every time we've ever gotten to work together, it's been hysterical. I remember one of the first times we ever worked together uh, with Jack Fletcher on that movie. And oh, they, put, God, yeah. they made the critical mistake of putting him, John, me, and Tom Kenny into a room together. It should have taken yeah. an hour. We were in there for four. Four. Laughing yeah, our we asses off. Afternoon. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what are you, what, what's going on now? What are you, what are you doing? I know you're uh, doing, doing enchant uh, Disenchanted, right? Yeah, Disenchantment. Disenchantment on Netflix, which is, you know, Matt, and Matt Groening's third, uh, third cartoon. Had enough? Uh, yep, I'm good. And it's, yep. uh, <clears throat> it's really a lot of fun. We're doing the, uh, the fourth installment right now. We're finishing up the fourth installment. They just had the, the third season. Uh, well, you of, can tell, you, you know, you're feel free to tell Matt about my punchable dick. I'd love to come do uh, yeah, season no, five. Like, you know, listen. You know, I mean, I'll, shit. I'll pass that along. That's yeah. a good idea. Cause yeah, it'd be nice. You never know. Four I mean, seasons in. Could... Four seasons in, you think of it. 
What happened? Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, I'll, uh, no, but we've been doing that, and uh, I've been actually going to the studio to record that stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. After, after in the beginning of the pandemic, uh, was doing it from home, and it was just kind of a, a disaster. But when you get to go to a studio that's doing all the COVID-19 protocols and all that stuff... That's nice. Pretty dope. Like yours, like where you're at, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. But but yeah, it's 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 all good. It's really good. But yeah, but I'm I'm excited. I, I I'm excited about disenchantment. There's another couple of things. I mean, you know, Loud House is is on, and um, I do a couple of characters on that show, and that's a that's a nice little hit for Nickelodeon. And here's a laptop. Boot it up. Will you settle for a penny loafer? Yeah. And and I'm doing another show called Middlemost Post that should be coming out this year, I think. I, I'm I'm hoping this year for Nickelodeon, and it and it's really really cool. I'm playing the the postman of Middlemost Post, so it's it's a lot of it's a lot of fun, and it's just you know keeping busy with gigs and and still still doing on camera auditions, which is ridiculous but yeah. fun, <clears throat> and you know just Grinding keeping out. busy. Yeah, it's actually I, I, I actually lined up. I'm do, I'm doing the same thing. I'm I'm back in. My kids. Uh, uh, I don't know if you know. So what? My my oldest is in college and he's moving out. Uh, with you know now that COVID's kind of settling down, he's going to move out. And the other one uh, got a deal at University of Washington to play football. So he's going to go up there and kick at uh, UW up in Washington. Oh my uh, God! Yeah. So he's got to do that. Really? So he's out of there. So my, we're like empty nesters, and we're like, "All right, take the clothes off, lock the doors." Walking around naked in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> we're gonna do that. Um, it's all good, man. Yeah, we're having, it's it's uh life is good, and uh, I'm gonna kind of go back to the you know like it's fun. It's fun to audition. You know, doing the self tapes. It's all self tapes, but you're like. Oh, I got some stuff to work on. It's on camera. This is kind of cool. Let's do this. And then, then I got to go into my, my closet and do my little, you know, actually actually make a living. So Yeah. So. You know, it's, I mean, I have a, this is this is my box. It's got a, it's a sound box. Like, yeah. I got the mic in there. It's like, you know, it's all the fucking stuff. I, I have uh, panels. You, you mean I could, I, I could do that. I could just do, I, I could have just done a freaking box <clears throat> instead of a closet. It's funnier when yeah. you're in the closet. I'm in a, but it's yeah. it really is. I'm gonna send you a picture. You someday. enjoy being in the closet. Yeah. One day you'll come out. I do. Don't One care. day I'll come out. <laughs> you should. Just in there with my pictures of Travolta. You, you should come out of the closet. Tom you should Cruise. be like me and feel free, and be outside the box. I'd rather be in the box. Hey, we're getting dirty. <laughs> so, let me ask you something right quick. Okay. You ever been in a fucking barn? <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, I'm guy. gonna need. I'm gonna need about. I'm gonna need about three meet three about three four yards of baling wire, uh, four D batteries, uh, an axe handle, <laughs> and uh, seven quarts of honey. <laughs> I will see you in the barn. In the barn. Yeah. It's just like what oh, are you doing with that axe shit. handle? Well, we're gonna get sticky first. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going. Then we're then we're gonna get it stickier. John DiMaggio, uh, buddy, uh, I'm not gonna take up any more of your day. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Um, come back on. We're gonna be starting uh, like an actual. This is our little show, but we're actually gonna be doing a podcast. Uh, you I'm know, down. Kind of with, with you the headphones call, and stuff like that. Me. And then call so, on me. I'll, I'm. But I'm you ready. might. I might need you as kind of like the regular. I might like you need like a. My Joey Diaz for Joe Rogan. I need somebody. Oh, okay. Fun, you know? I told, I, you know, listen, man. It was always cool when Batman, sh I mean, when Batgirl showed up on Batman. I'll be your Batgirl. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Is there any way you could be my Batman and I could be Batgirl? You want to be Batgirl? Sure. I kind of do. I like the outfit That's better. all right. Whatever you want to do. I it's, want to it's, be less of a it's less of a restrictive mask. It's Hers is more of like a raccoon kind of thing it's a little the other cow thing is like oh my ears are yeah. sweating yeah no nah. <laughs> that's my Crazy. only problem with batman Sweet. and i don't get i and by the way batman just for people are dc fans are going to hate this but <laughs> i don't get batman because he's just a rich dude he's kind of like the uh, 50 shades of gray dude but instead of fucking everybody he's fucking up everybody <laughs>
you know. Yeah, like, there you go. It's a rich guy with toys. These go in people, and these <laughs> arrest people. Well, they both arrest people. They both, they both, will people put people in bond. They could be the same guy. <laughs> I didn't think. This I didn't... is a catapult. This is a sex wing. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> How did you? There's, there's the Joker. It's like I don't mind being caught and tied up now. <laughs> Do what you will, Batman. <laughs> yes. Oh, the, the hands behind the knees is uh, just. Well, well what that is? That's, that's just, what really. Well, the, the thing is, is the hands behind the knees, first of all, shows consent <laughs> and commitment. <laughs> So, and, and uh, hey, for you young bucks out there, consent and commitment is what you're looking for. If it's not in writing, take a picture of their hands behind their knees. Or if they're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> with their, with, hold on, caveat, with their own hands. Well, hey, listen, this has been a wonderful show. It's uh, probably our last show you'll ever see, everybody. Um, I'm not going to make the cut. So... <laughs> uh, hey, uh, until next time, uh, kids out there, go punch a friend in the dick. And uh, John DiMaggio, right. great to see you. It's always great to see you, pal. I miss you, and uh, hopefully we can get together soon and 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 mask it up and 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 hang. Oh, I miss okay. you, pal. Miss you too, buddy. I will see you soon. Thanks, everybody. John DiMaggio. All right, so let's get into the bushes. Let's get you into cover and then shoot in cover. Because uh, I think you got they got you got alerted I gotta, I gotta last. Do time. this thing. So R three, there he is. Got it. Archers, I must take out the eyes of the camp. Yeah, see if we can take that guy out real quick. Uh, he walks away. Yeah. All right. Tell us again about All right, let's get in the bushes. Get in the bushes. In the bushes. And then let's take that dude out across the way. I don't think you can get that. It's a fun. It's a funny angle, you know. What do you mean it's a funny angle? All right, let's sneak around. See if we can get take out the other. I don't know. Is that, did you get him last time? I think we did. Careful. All right, that's good. Oh, get that guy across the way there. Yeah. Keep going down, son. In the crotch. You have no penis. Nope. You penis gone. Your penis gone. No more. Now he may walk back over here. Yeah, he might. I wonder if you though. There was a good angle back by the oh, rock. By those barrels. Yeah, know? yeah. I remember. So I wonder if he sneaked back over there. Yeah, so I guess I just. Yeah. I don't want those guys to. Yeah. They're, they're going over there. Let me just see if he's walking back this way. Yeah, that's true. He told me if his forge went cold from underuse, he'd throw them slave masters in it for fuel. See, they're looking over here. I don't know if it's... I, I don't think they're going to see it. I think this, the way this mission's set up, I think you're... You can kind of move a little freely freely around as long as you're somewhat in, in stealth. It's one of those games where it's like you need like a, a rock, like distraction. Like throw a rock over there. <laughs> Look over there. There you go. Now go. It makes you harder in battle. All right. How about now? Can you get him from there? Uh, not quite. One more, one more over there. Yeah, behind those barrels. All right. Now let's go take out Big yeah. Daddy. Where you're going. You're like, going in, we're going in close. What if you hit circle from there, what happened? How close do you need to be? I don't know. It says hold drain. Yeah. Are you holding it? Yeah, I was holding it before, but... Uh, it's not working. Yeah, yeah you gotta I get... I think they have to turn red, so... Yeah, you gotta get closer. All right, now try it. Are you sitting circle? Yep. No, oh, that's weird. Oh, that didn't work out well. Not all. Pity I have to kill you. 
You would make a strong slave. <laughs> Let's take out Gimu. Once you take out Gimu, the every all the other orcs will surrender or just kind of run away. There you go. All right, now go take out Gimu there. See how much damage you can do. And don't forget about Circle will stun him, and then when he's on the ground, you can do like uh, more. Don't forget about your triangle circle. Can, you can execute them sometimes. I don't know how to do that. The fight mechanics are so cool. It kind of reminds me of Bat Batman Arkham Asylum a lot too. You know, like in the, how he kind of floats between enemies. Damn it. You're, you're so close, buddy. Just keep keep hitting gi move. Nice. Dude, you did it. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, go get his rune. Oh, give me your rune. Yeah, all the rune. I want it in me. What? 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 Oh, uh, R1. Uh, uh, yeah, R1 there. Picked up the rune. All right, that felt satisfying. That did. That was pretty satisfying. Um, we did it. Um, I'm proud of you, buddy. I got to get better on the on this because I keep hitting that. We need to get you a special controller. With My that. forearm strength is is <laughs> like I've had it. There he is, Shadow Mordor. Holy crap! Uh, even with John DiMaggio flapping my my pecker, I was able to take down. <laughs> Uh, hockey mask. Yeah, you whatever, just channeled your oh. your hand of Sauron. Mm, I, I really, I really did. Oh, hey everybody! Once again, it's time for retro feud. Uh, today we have Lily K taking on Pyro. My nemesis, who likes to count all my deaths in every game. Today, I get to count yours. <laughs> okay, so today, we're going to do something different today. Instead of the typical game we played, a retro feud today is going to be something different, kind of based off the game Taboo, if you've ever played that, or Password Plus, which was back... For older people, which, which, I don't know, Taboo took the name. What I'm going to do is I have a list of words here, and you're each going to get 30 seconds to... Guess as many words. I'm going to give clues, and as soon as you know it, we move to the next word. Pagan is going to be on the clock, 30 seconds on the clock, and this time we're actually going to have a real clock because otherwise we go forever. But first things first, my favorite part, I'm going to pick a number between 1 and 20. Whoever is closest without going over will uh, have the choice to go first or second. So I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20. Lily? Mm, 14. Pyro. 12. The number was 13. Pyro wins the choice. <laughs> Would you like to go first or second? I'll go second. Lily's first. Okay. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, now now you said you you were like, oh, I don't think I, before, before we came on, you, you said you don't think you're going to be good at this. I'm good at this. I know how to do this. So. Okay. Are you ready? No. Pagan? <laughs> I got it. We're going to... Start the clock. You ski on this. Uh, uh, ghost. Milk. Paper. <laughs> you ski on it. It's cold. It falls from the sky. It's white and flaky. Uh, snow. Bo um, you wear this on your head. Uh, Pyro's oh, hat. Woof, woof. Uh, woof. Dog. Dog. Uh, uh, you uh, put this in your, uh, in your mouth, and it's tasty, and... You take it out, and uh, you, uh, uh, if you if you lick this, lick it to the center. There's there's uh, chocolate. Lime. Lime. Yes. Okay. Oh. I was not as good at that as I thought I would be. A lollipop. Um, and don't ever let me say you stick this in your mouth and it tastes good. It's tasty. Lily, you got four correct. Yes. 
Uh, you've got four in the 30 seconds. Um, uh, Pyro, you get the gist. And um, I got you. Are you ready? Ready as I'm going to be. Pagan, start the clock. You uh, climb these up and climb these down. Stairs. Um, these are the white things in your your face, in your mouth. Teeth. Um, uh, this is a man uh, who has people in a basement in Maine. Richie McGonagall. Um, you get in this to uh, fly to another place. Aurora Borealis, a plane, a uh, spaceship. Uh, you got an airplane. Uh, you eat this midday. This is the meal midday. Time. Whatever I can get my hands on. Time? <laughs> Time. No, the answer was lunch. And wouldn't you, damn it, wouldn't you know it? They're tied. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn. No. One oh, thing damn. I was wondering, I was looking at it, like, what happens if we tie? Okay. This is going to be a beautiful tiebreaker. Okay. Oh, no. We're going to a tiebreaker. So I'm going to give the clue, and the first person to answer, Pagan, uh, you be the bad guy, or we'll let Drew be I the bad it. guy if you can hear who says it first. You don't want to do this to Pagan. She's too sweet. You're yeah, the bad guy. I'm, 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 Drew will be the one to answer. All right, I'm going to give the clue very quickly, and you are going to be able to, so whoever answers this first will win. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman. Your mother. There you go. Hey, Pyro oh my God. jumped in. Pyro. Uh, Pyro with the win on, uh, I mean, I, I mean Woo. this is cool. We went to a sudden, death. sudden death. Sudden death win. Pyro, congratulations. You win a, thank uh, you, thank a you. an official box of nothing. Uh, we'll ship that out. I will cherish it forever. Uh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> um, Lily, uh, thank you for joining us. You came up a little short, but you, but you did great. I mean, it, wow. you went into overtime, sudden death. And you thought you were going to be, you know? Um, I, yeah. I claimed another death. That's one for my death counter. That, yeah, no, that's yours. Up. That's yours. <laughs> sudden death. You, you, Of course Pyro gets wins in sudden death. Of course. You know what? This just worked out so well. And uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to like this game, and I like it. I, I, we're going to have to put this in the rotation. Yeah. I, Because I, it's, it's a lot of responsibility on me, and it I is. don't like that. I know. Yeah. Um, it's like the whole show. Exactly. Guys, we love you. We thank you. Brilliant. Keep up with the art. Uh, keep up with the counting deaths and figure out your internet. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time on The Few. Thanks for joining us. All right, photos up on the bar. Uh, first up, Slowpunk, Christian K., uh, Nate York, Nate B. I don't know why you're not Nate Y, but Nate York. We're just going with it. Uh, he's rocking the uh, retro replay hoodie. Thank you for that, my man. And oh, the lovelies, Scaldi Panda, Emily B. Pictured with J9, Janine. Uh, I just, I love that, by the way. J9. I, I, I wish, like, I, I should do my name with N zero L A N. That doesn't work. There they are. Photos on the bar. Thank you, guys. Welcome to, uh, welcome to. Retro replay here on the set. Uh, member shout outs at the get good level on Dawn, Erica, uh, Claire J, and Kendwick 03, that's Kendra W. At the Drew's filthy soup level, Alex Hutchinson, pronounced Alec, so I'm going to say Alec Hutchinson. Um, and Talica 27, that's Erica H. And of course, at the Outer Beast level, Cassandra Wynn. Connor Lagan or Lagan, I, I, every time. I'm never going to not get that right. And Cameron Fernandez. Uh, this is this week's member shout out just for you. Uh, that, uh, I don't know what, what was that? It's a shout out. Mm. I'm trying to make it a little different. And you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, been another fun, yep. funny day. Wow. I was successful uh, here in uh, the, the uh, in Mordor. Um, Somewhat. I mean, there's a there's there's a lot more game, why but you but just, just why would you just not let me have that? Just let me have that little moment. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right. Dimaggio was funny as hell. Uh, we learned a lot. Did <laughs> I think we learned a lot? So learn, learn. Uh, and I think if we walk away with anything, remember it's consent, commitment. Love you all. See you next time. <laughs>
fine. Ah! <laughs> but I like the first choice. Go with go with go with first take. Go with A.